for the finale. For real this time. Finish the game! No! We kept getting false flags. We had we had an evil tower, and then, then we had an evil super realm, and I think we're in the evil super realm. And I want to say we've got like an hour of the game left. Depending on how fast we finish it, and then maybe we'll take a look at the uh, little bit of the post game. Sounds good. Food, uh, Bubby? Is it some, someone's grandma? Oh no, wait, Hiroshima is the one that looks good. Lu Jean. It looks like a, like a Sesame Street character. I'll, gi I'll give Food Bubby a pass so that she can appear in someone's world. Who looks like the most intelligent? Sniffer. Hey, Kirby is extremely intelligent. I think intelligent uh, when I think Kirby. Sure. Dust. Dust. Did it was finally finish this? Where were we? We're missing some. Uh, Jack is sick. In game, Jack, not real okay, Jack. Okay, yeah. Well, no, I'm. I'm not sick. I'm just. I'm just uh, waiting for my injury to finally heal up. We got a lot of food. Eat up. MP and magic. Luna hates snake. I hate snakes. I hate them. Show a little backbone, Indy. Devil protein. Devil protein, best protein. Hollow protein. <clears throat> I once uh, read a fan fiction where, uh, where uh, Sarah's Victoria from uh, Helsing uh, turned out to be uh, Ichigo's cousin. Oh, okay, just because they're like both for... blonde? Yeah, so so she had to fling, uh, flee uh, the Helsing Manor on, on her master's orders because uh, uh, Integra uh, was, like, going to kill her or something. Because she's, she's a soul like, reaper. She's a liar. She's a liability. No, no, actually, she's still a vampire, but she fled. And then she ends up, like, fighting a hollow and ends up drinking blood from it, and she feels more powerful from it, so... Oh, okay. I didn't read very far after that, but I... Oh, you're playing... Uh, no, I, I hit the wrong thing. I want to go back. What's, what's hey, the roulette baby. today? Sphinx Catsuit. Sphinx Catsuit. All right. Easy cash. We just finished time. watching another episode of Baki, another example <laughs> of the alien who is convinced it is an expert on human biology. Yes, just drink, uh, just drink, what is it, 17 14 years? kilograms 14. of sugar water can can cure, like, mus poison and, and muscle, muscle atrophy. Muscle atrophy. Yeah, atrophy. It, it, it can also turn a room it is in into a, it, it, the resting into a steam room. That's right. The human will drink exactly 14 kilograms of sugar water, and then he will steam, and then he will be all better. Great, that's not how it works. Because I, every time I picture the alien, I just picture, like, like one of those classic gray aliens with, like, the big black eyes and... Yo. Who just studies a lot of, studies, quote-unquote, a lot of other, like, shonen manga, and is convinced that they know human biology based on that. Why, why would they lie about, about themselves like this? That doesn't make any sense. Hello, Charles. Hello, Whipper. Hey, guys. If there's one thing that's nice about Metopia, it's that we, it's, it's basically an idle game, so we just end up talking about anime for two hours. <laughs> well, one hour. Maybe. Oh, Royal Roast! Oh. That's food. Food's good. You get very rare Royal Roast. So, uh... Speaking of food-based, uh, uh... Mechanics. Uh, stat mechanics. Uh... 
Yeah. There is a blood uh, blood stained has a mechanic where you can buy like uh, healing food items, but if you eat them for the first time, they increase your stats. Okay. And you can cook them. Can you find them in the walls? Uh, occasionally, yes. Okay. Blood stained features wall meat. It's it's Castlevania. It's a game. It's a game made by the same guy who did Castlevania. Of course, it would feature wall meat. That's why I asked. Yeah. Also, I you know how people so an Earthbound uh, inspired uh, RPG was released recently called Oremo. It was like it was. Isn't supposed, that the name of like, the? Isn't that the name of the like my my sister can't be this cute series? Isn't that the abbreviation? I might be mispronouncing it then. I because I got that confused too. Give me a second. Uh, Omori. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, that's different. Yeah. <laughs> Omori is the, uh, it was, like, kickstarted six years ago, and it just came out now, and it's been more oh, okay. Well, that is an appropriate gonna... cycle for an yeah, indie game. Different. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. But, uh, it was, it, it, to put it uh, in perspective, it was originally gonna have a port for the 3DS before it got depreciated for the Switch. Yeah. Uh-huh. Everyone, everyone's full now. Yeah, you should wait. You should hold on to that roast. Or not. You're just saying that because you're sick and you want some. Hey, you should wait till Jack's awake. I bet he'd like that roast. I'll <laughs> hold on to it. So, uh... What else was I going to say? Uh... I forgot. Uh... About so I was thinking, like indie game? Made, so, Earthbound, like, games are, like, quirky. They're kind of surreal, but they have, like, a... That they're set in like the modern contemporary times yeah so i was thinking you could do like a, a earthbound style game but instead of having it be like a turn-based rpg you'd have it be a metroidvania yeah that probably is exists like a does that count as postmodern? i know the the impetus for the mother series was that it was over the rpgs were oversaturated with the fan fantasy settings so they did it in modern day and I and I think I'm trying to think. The Metroidvania is either it's either fantasy or it's sci-fi. Yeah. Like the traditional fantasy setting or traditional sci-fi setting. I want to see one that like takes place in like uh, in in like the uh, urban style, where it's like the entire thing is like just a town on like a on like a mountain. Yeah. And you're just going through it, and you get like a bit like psychic abilities to help you traverse the the world. Darian, uh, if you're watching this, uh, let me know how feasible this idea is. Psychics were huge in the in the '90s, especially in Japan after yeah, Akira. I, well, I I know that psychics kind of fell off there. They, they were also they also had, were big in America too for a time. Yeah, I'm th especially I'm thinking Japanese properties like Pokemon had it as a type in the when it started in the mid 90s. Obviously yeah. there was Earthbound, there was uh, the X anime series it was all about psychics. Uh, Yu Yu uh, Hakusho. Show. Oh yeah, that's right. I guess Yu Yu Hakusho is kind of a psychic, spirit psychic. Well, that was at least that's what the dub went for what they called Kuwabara and Genkind humans with spiritual powers. Psychics, uh, psychics. Uh, they need to, I hope they come back and vote someday because it's all it's all back up to magic. And even contemporary stuff has like, oh, they're all magical. I'm yeah. Like, Dude, how about just be psychic? Just have some psychic together. You shit with our mind. Like, there's this uh, psychic game called Second Sight where you play as this dude who uh, who like wakes up. And like a lab, he discovers he has psychic powers. He's trying to figure out what's going on, and occasionally it, it flashes, flashes back into the past before he got kidnapped, where he was like with a group called Mithrice, and they're investigating psychics. Yeah. And the, the irony is that the dude is like, "I'm not a, I'm not a guy who studies psychics. I debunk them. Why are you bringing me along? Because you're the only, only thing we've got to having an expert in this field, dude." Okay. Wait, where are we going? Siberia? Fuck no. And then he's in Siberia. Oh, he's got he got a big attack spell. Oh nice. 
Psycho Waluigi Switch port coming soon! Is that... Oh man, I wish. Apparently people really like that game. Yeah. What's that in my shame, pocket? Shame, shame due to the nature of its creation, nobody's... Nintendo's never gonna acknowledge yeah. that it exists. They won't, even if they're gonna make money off of it, they refuse to use anything made by fans. A la the Mother 3 translation. Also, uh... I remember when the people who were on who were on board for the Mother 4 project, they just decided, fuck it, we're gonna rename, we're gonna rename and re redo the project. Yeah. So I think they saw, they saw, uh, Nintendo's, uh, wagon circling coming. Space Goblin. Sounds like the name of a band. Yeah, they retitled it to uh, Oddity. You also started playing. You tried out uh, Undermine recently. I like it. Uh, I like the, the twist that you're not playing as like one single character, but rather you're just playing as a line of doomed peasants, peasant miners, who are going down there to die. <laughs> just and everybody's like, "Oh, hey, you saved me!" Wait, no, that wasn't you. Was that someone else? Yeah. I, I thought, and then every time you die, it just reveals some information where it's like, where it's like, "Oh no, he died. He survived by his husband. She is survived by her wife." I see that in bug snacks or games that are uh, going around this last month. Oh, wait, bug snacks as being a good game or as being a pop hey, like popular on YouTube. Yeah, I might, I might play, I might stream some attempts at it, but I've already played through some of it. I... Yeah, it's weird because it's a. Uh... Oh, oh wait, I was not friends with Kimpachi. What? When was I not friends with Kimpachi? I, I guess you pissed each other off somehow. Oh, because of spicy food, probably. I want to be friends again. I'm sorry. Me too. Oh, Jack. <laughs> Bug Snacks was pretty rad, kind of like Pokemon Snap in some regards. I haven't seen the games played, so I don't actually know what they are. Didn't wasn't Pokemon Snap getting a port, or am I misremembering that? I don't know. I, I wish it did. It's a very unique uh, game. Just it's a rail shooter with a camera. It's just yeah, you're just going on a safari. I wonder what ever happened to that. Uh, that Paper Mario-like game about bugs. People seem to be uh, into that for a while, and then everyone just kind of forgot about it. Oh, um, by the way, I should mention that, uh, that, uh, Flash is uh, officially dead. Mm-hmm. But, uh, from what I hear, Newgrounds has taken the stand to, uh, make a, new, a, a replacement. What, they're... they're... Like a, a new kind of flash. Ah. Jack is content with his meat. Yes, feed me the meat. Man. By the way, I, I, I just want to mention that Vinny has, like, some of the best screams. Yeah? Because it's not just the fact that he... That he just screams. It's the fact that he screams in just severe agony. Just, ah! The fact that it's so rare is what makes it special. Yeah. Pokemon 2. Ah! Feed the meat to the gherkin. Now you got that backwards, Mango. Take a look at the gherkin. Did you, uh, did you look at that Adult Swim thing I sent you? Oh. What Adult Swim? Hold on. Uh, I'll take a look at it now. 
It's called it's Choir. A, it's a thing on the Adult Swim website that is just like a little thing to mess around with, and it's a weird voice synthesizer. <laughs> maybe, maybe I can bring it up on stream for a second. Oh, that is glorious. That's enough of that. Okay, I was playing. Were you playing around with it too? I, I showed it on stream for a second. Yeah. I. I... These are faces. I need to know. Our little adventure's over. I'll tell you then. Nathan's got a secret. I'll tell you. If we better not lose our last battle, we're never gonna know, are we? Just between you and me, I used to be a metal singer. I wasn't always pop! Oh, it's just aliens. We're gonna kill the Baki author. No, we need him to finish the uh, Musashi art. By the way, I don't know if they... Wait, why am I gray? Apparently. Wait, they, the aliens made me gray. I'm old now. By the way, I should, I should mention that uh, that apparently in the manga there's a caveman. Oh, okay. Was he? Is it the frozen thing, or has he just been living in a cave? Yeah, no, he's 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 frozen. And he got thawed out. Okay. He's apparently pickle. Okay. That's uh, that's like a Toriyama name. This is a traditional human name. I learned it from watching Dragon Ball. <laughs> What'd you say his name was Pickle? Oh, okay. It, but it, wouldn't the freezing and kill him? Nah, oh, he thaw out. I caught that from watching American scientist stories. That's usually how, how it works in most media, is that they dramatically undersell how fucked up getting frozen is. Which was what yeah. surprised me when One Piece didn't, and they acknowledged how serious it was. Actually, that's especially weird for One Piece, because no one ever gets injured in One Piece. I mean, not significantly. They don't ever... A character survived a nuke at point-blank range. Yes, and yet Ace died. That's so weird. How to share snacks with Kenpachi. What's going on between Kuroshi oh, nice. and Zelos? Tell me the name of the person you like. I don't like anyone! I do. That's nice. That, yeah, that's in character for Zelos. some space food. I still have those MREs that we bought and never ate. Hello? Yeah, sorry. I got uh, I got distracted by uh, 
the choir. By just... Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> this, is, this is a good way to kick off 2021, the first stream of the year. We just play Metopia and we just josh about anime and... I guess and this uh, is our New Year's stream. It's our resolution. We're gonna finish Metopia this year. This is the year we're Why procrastinate? This is, uh, this, is this the stream that took the longest to finish the, the game, I mean? Uh, not counting that Monster Girl Quest. Actually, wait. Well, I'm not gonna count uh, Sly Cooper either, because, uh, because we the just... Year hiatus. Yeah. We don't play many, like, super long games. I think Zelda we kind of put off because that's up there. I wonder how long Wind Waker ended up taking. Cool. Ole! We tend to not play super long games. Pokemon. Pokemon games are always long playthroughs. Yeah, Pokemon takes a while. So RPGs are the ones that take usually take the most, the longest. Pokemon, Paper Mario. I'm gonna guess Pokemon is probably our longest stream. I don't think this took longer than... I don't know what our longest Pokemon was. Gen 3, maybe? I think so. We still haven't finished Gen 4. Gen 4 has taken a while. It's famously a slow-paced generation. Yeah. I, I, uh... And then again, what would be a fast-paced Pokemon game? Pokemon uh, Coliseum? I don't, I don't know if about pace, necessarily. Gen 2 is fast just because it's very short before you get to, to Kanto. Uh... Because, you know, Johto is only half the game, really. And the second half is so freeform that you can move through it pretty quickly if you know where you're going. Yeah. Lena explodes so... a Mexican cartel. What? Says chat. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, here we are. Slayers, the... Slayers versus, a, versus a Mexican... Not yeah, there. we ran out of mountain bandits to rob, and then we went to pirates, but then we ran out of pirates. So, uh, we're now targeting Mexican drug lords. Which is good. Oh, oh, I heard, I heard... Oh. oh, hold on. There's serious stuff going on. He, he's got a pompadour. So you finally made it up here. I thought I was going to die of boredom. You leave Great Sage Chris Lee alone. You want your Great Sage back? Come and try your luck. Uh, make him go. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Uh. Oh, it's like a fucked up version of the Great Mage theme. It's it's a Nintendo hand boss, Jack. Of course it is. You gotta fight the hands. Although if there's any game for the boss to be a giant face, I guess it would be this one. <laughs> Look how, how Zora was like, what the fuck? The Darker Lord Chris Lee. But he's the bright lord, he's literally the sun. Oh, oh, oh. Do you take a look at this fine new form of mine? Can you feel it? That raw, overwhelming power! Let us end this. I have made a huge mistake. Darker lord Chris Lee's strength is far too great. You'll have to fight him with all ten of your teammates! Oh, nice. What's the, why you make me do this? That I guess this chooses how they're distributed. I'm just select. Oh. Oh, I can I, only in groups of three. Three friends to fight the left hand. Okay, I see, I see it. All right, so who's, who's going to be our left hand team? Uh, Zelos, Judy, and Promistine. To dream team. Uh, Who's gonna go right for the hand. right hand? 
Corin, uh, Kuroshi, and... Let's do Nathan. And then we got the, right. our main four for the face, I, I guess. Can do this, guys. And oh, there is no auto. Fight. I guess it's an auto fight is kind of redundant because you can still only control your player character. Yeah. So all I can really do is sprinkles and safe spot. He's like the he's like the butler from Hunter Hunter. He's the coin coin fighter. Yeah. Oh man. By the way, I didn't know that uh, that that uh, Sephiroth is a very snappy fighter. Like. Oh uh, yeah. Like Jazz hands. I realized recently that the way he plays, I feel is actually he's comparable to like Jigglypuff with a sword. <laughs> Because he's all about drifting in and drifting out from as far away as possible. Just over oh, and over nice. again, poking. Yeah, I saw some gameplay of him. He seems like my kind of character. I gotta, I gotta get a Switch. After I get a car and my own place, I'll be back on the Smash soon. You know, the hand doesn't really seem to be... Losing control. And they have the German they dance music to the boss. Oons, oons, oons. Hello, Caroline okay. ASMR. Oh! I'm so nice. nervous. It'll be okay, keep calm. We've been at this for quite a while and we're finally at the final stream. Choose the weakest guys. Oh, I, I completely missed Mango's message. I, th I think we did that. I don't remember. I know Corrin is a heavy hitter. The cat class hits hard. This is all gonna come to like uh, buffing Corrin. Because Flower's a support class. The hand. I guess Flower's mixed uh, support and attack. Yeah, healing kind of as well. Oh, jeez. This might this might have been a bad choice. At least we don't have a tank anymore. Tank tank was the worst choice, yeah. This is this is a little slower than I think it's a different theme than the left hand had. By the way, uh, I think Caroline ASMR is the biggest uh person we've ever had on one of these on one of our streams so really thank you for checking us out is that like a, a known streamer uh I have... like I, i've heard of them they're huh. me eight dimensional asmr 24 dimensional asmr for next level uh, that's the kind of that's the kind of content that's the kind of content i look for on one Mango, do our sprinkles restore between the hands and the head? Because that's what I'm worried about, saving the shield sprinkles for. So we're fighting the two hands, but it doesn't matter if uh, if our primary hand gets uh... our primary hand. Like if our if our primary team doesn't work, like what if we lose the two hand battles? Does that mean we're just we're like, oh, we can't beat him now? That's a good question. I assume it I assume if any of the three fights are lost, then we lose the battle and we have to try again. Senzu Bean. Comprised of exactly 14 kilograms of sugar water condensed into a bean. It's the ultimate healing. There it 
randos. Wait, whose face was that? Just some rando? Now the final battle. Final battle! Ah! Now we fight the sun. Okay, I had assumed that all three fights were taking place at once. Did I catch you at a bad time? Allow me to show you my true power! Say your prayers! You know, you know, if Mario was here, he just fucking threw a shell at him and then that'd be it. Is, is that how you beat bosses in Mario RPG? That's how, that's how you beat the sun in Mario 3. You just throw a, sun, uh, a shell at it and, uh... Oh, right, yeah. yeah. What was the... Wasn't there, like, a Final Fantasy-inspired secret boss in Mario RPG? Yes, uh, that, that was, it, it played the, like, Final Fantasy battle theme and everything, you fight four crystals and stuff. Well, what were you four doing if the, if the fights weren't happening at the same time? They were prepping. I had, to, I had to make sure my Halloween-style chef's hat was on properly. You and me aside, I think the tag team of Kenpachi Zaraki and Lena Inverse could, uh, they could take out most foes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna one-hit kill it. Righteous anger! Oh, that actually works. <laughs> if only. Oh, that was easy. And a large weapon! We, we all have galaxy weapons. No, not the Judy coin. No. Fine, here, eat this. Again? Okay, he's, fi he's fine. He did damage. We need all the damage we can get. It, it didn't piss him like, off this time. This, this is like a person. This is like a Shin Megami Tensei final boss. <laughs> it's a JRPG, Jack. What do you expect? Uh, should we take out the coins or just all focus the dark, darkest lord? What do you think? Uh, got I think we should just focus on the darkest lord unless the coins like heal him or something. So I don't know if the coins heal him or not. Oh, they're gonna defend him. Okay, well, I guess it doesn't matter. We might as well attack the Darkest Lord anyway. Are you okay? Pro cooking. Also, I don't know. Check this. Hello, uh, let's do this music. Someone in chat. Yeah. I, uh, I'm taking a look at the rules of this. Oh, no, uh, we got to look down. Uh oh. Got a high. Music is also in Smash Ultimate. Yeah, it's pretty good music. Well, that's what I can do. I can use the. Now I can use the shields. And large! What's the other thing that's in uh, the me representation in Smash Brothers? It's called uh, like Find Me. And I, I never, oh, I never. That's right. That's the guy that. in the suspended in the cage. Oh yeah, that which is not from this game. I get. I guess it must have had like a similar theme, whatever Find Me was. And then there was Me Tomo, which was like the phone app thing. 
A lot of me stuff that kind of just went by the wayside. And it's a shame they're being, like, phased out of the Switch. What the news, yeah. Kind of wonder if they will return in the next Smash or not. Find me was the 3DS built in thing where you use a street the moment pass. you've all been waiting for. Oh, you're gonna. My ultimate final form! Ultimate, ultra, final, super, ultra form. Oh, it's just. Yeah, he just went. He just went super. He's just glowing green. Ow! Wait. Um, no, I don't want one more time. Jack! How dare you! Oh, that was that was cool. Uh, come back, Jack. I'm alive. Uh, okay, you might so I was gonna say I have Masiel if it's my turn. Okay. Use it. Restore an enormous amount of HP. Oh, that's right. I also have Resurrection. Yeah, Fantasy is probably what you need. There wasn't a whole- Stop. Oh, she didn't take it! Lena! What?! Well, fine, take the sprinkles. You... crazy... I'm gonna heal me, because I can heal anyway. Yeah. Uh... I, I could hyper, but I, I'm questioning if that's a good idea. I'm also a healer. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we got two of us. Got mad at Chris Lee, the darkest lord. Nathan's free. Nice! Five. That was it? Wait. Uh... Oh no. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he, he used all his power on, on the big thing before. Just keep, just keep using fantasy. Over and over again. Unusually focused. <laughs> Lena! I'm in a good mood. <laughs> like, I'm in a good mood. Lena and Kick white magic screen. refuse to mix. Yeah. Are we going to deliver the final blow? Did we deliver the final blow? We did yes. it, Jack! <laughs> we did a tag team. Double team, we did it. That was cool. Yay. Chris. Yay, we purged Chris. We beat the, we beat the devil out of him. Oh. Beat the devil. Oh, that would be so perfect if you had Bob Ross in your final team for Metopia. Oh. Not this time. Take that! <laughs> Listen well, Dark Curse. You won't be able to move, so don't bother trying. I'm truly grateful for rescuing me. And if you might indulge me. Which is the story of the Dark Curse's past. A long, long time ago. Oh, are we supposed to feel bad for the curse now? He was just a normal human. Although he was very sad and lonely. Wait, this confirms the Mies are humans then. They're not like weird robot things. Yeah, they're just, they're just stylized humans. Why does everyone ignore me? Please, notice me, senpai. Is it my face? It's this face of mine. This no good, plain, boring face. With that, he cast away his own face, as one does. He ripped it off. He was rid of the thing he resented so badly. 
But without a face, how could he cling to existence? Before long, he had disappeared. Th this makes about as much sense as, like, bleach logic. With, like, souls and nobodies or blanks or whatever they're called. Yeah. And it makes more sense than anything in Kingdom Hearts. That's a low bar. That's a bar so low you don't even need to actively step over it. Leaving behind a soul full of hatred, malice, and envy. That's that's why I like Kingdom Hearts. It's just that it's just I let the bizarreness just wash over me. Just all the bullshitting. <laughs> yeah. The shadow of a soul became the dark curse. Now I ask you, what would we do with this dark curse? Do we destroy it or do we save him? We have to save him. Your kindness ever shines through. You'll need to give him a face, but I believe that should pose no trouble for you. Nope! Got lots of faces! And then happy ragtime music. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> what, what, what face is the Ottawa's? Oof. <laughs> Magic crap! Flowey! What? Flowey? No. I'll say. Oh, from Delta Rune. Let's see who we can make it. Yeah. We haven't had a Walter in the game, have we? We could <laughs> give him Walter. Oh, I hate this fate. Hi, oh, Billy really Mays! <laughs> we make him Cthulhu. Uh. John Wick. John Wick. God. John Wick. <laughs> oh. We got Slowpoke. We, did we have a Dargor? I don't remember if we did or not. I don't think we had a Dargor, but I... We used Ganondorf. Yeah, we did. Picard? Ataru. <laughs> I think we already used Ataru, though. Yeah. This is, let's make him Walter. Yeah, Walter. Oh, I didn't... But I thought Walter wanted to be left alone. Well, he's old now. This is a long time ago. He aged... I used to be so beautiful. What happened? How did... Oh! <gasps> this is your curse. Your, your curse to become My Walter. face! It's beautiful! You saved me. You saved me. Thank you. It's just old people. All the people involved in the curse are just... It's old Ganondorf, old Christopher Lee, and then Walter, the oldest. I'll take care of him. He shall travel with me and atone for his wicked deeds. Is that what, what is a that travel? Walter's... They look like Wa Waldorf and Statler traveling the world together. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. oh, very nicely done. Monsters will disappear, and all of the stolen faces will be returned to their owners. You have saved Metopia. We've all saved Metopia. Actually, you and I did deliver the final blows. So. We got. I think we got everyone to their final weapons. Cool. That choice you made actually matters for post-game somewhat. Uh. I've only watched a play one playthrough of this, and that also chose to save him. So what- do you know what that affects, Mango? Yeah, please tell us. I offer my sincerest gratitude. So, just out of curiosity, I noticed you're, uh, you're Caroline. Uh, are you actually the YouTuber Caroline ASMR? That peace and tranquility return to the land at last. Yes. Congrats. Congratulations. No. Oh, that's a s okay. <laughs> I'm Jagon. Oh, suck my Jagon. Alright. Alright, I thought it was Hey, it's uh, Peter Griffin. I guess not now is the, the whole cast of everyone, all the idiots that we assigned to these roles. Yes. 
Hey, you don't look like one of my friends. Bwah! Prince Morty. Princess, princess. Princess, princess. <laughs> Mr. Guy allows you to access to the final boss rush tower in the final post-game area. Oh, okay. I didn't know there was progression in the post-game. So if you kill him, then you won't get access to it? Okay. Just lock yourself out. Rich Prince Waluigi. Genie Dark Mario. I'm nothing like you. Haruhi, Osaka, and Konata, the elf trio of Slice of Life. Oh, you can make the... okay. Oh, I'm a shopkeeper now! <laughs> It'd be hilarious just to have, uh, like, Ganon just chilling in a shopkeeper and I just, like, a fake mustache. Oh, I, sh not, not I showed you that meme of someone who wanted, uh... Instead of a game without Ganondorf, they want a Zelda game where every NPC is obviously just Ganondorf in disguise spying on you. Oh, oh man. Fun. The Reborn. Oh, he's gonna get spelunked. <laughs> this is the way you would tell him you must go to the Spelunky cave. Oh. It won't be easy. You'll die many times. It's okay, you won't. You'll come back. Bonk. Cameraman. Twenty seventeen. Not an old game. I thought it was older than that. So if we didn't choose to save him, we would have to replay the final boss and make a different choice in order to access that part of the post game. Yes. New travelers have arrived at the Traveler's Hub. Nice. Dubious Mayor Dong. Marie, the tank. Bit hurvy. Looks like they need help. Now, I know there are two extra classes that can be unlocked through the post-game. I think Haruhi might have one of the quests for that. The villa! Villa? a wonderful place for a further 90 of your friends to stay in. Oh. Some party members can't wait. I'm so done with this save the world shit. I'm going to the villa. Me too. Me. I'll go too. I don't want to go. So we no longer have to stay at the end. Oh. Freeze up some room at the inn. You can recruit some new party members now. Cool. That was our 150th monster. They just left you? No, it's fine. They'll, they'll be back. It's Zellos. He knows Zellos from... Uh, oh, from yeah. Sometimes he tries to kill us. Sometimes he helps us out. HP banana effect. Your team's penchant for bananas has given rise to a new power! I wonder if they're working on another South Park game at any point. Because I know Fractured Butthole was kind of a disappointment to some people. But Promestine was the... Other than our four... Promestine was the most, uh, the most faithful. I think it was like, uh, like Avengers-like. Oh. Uh, yeah, because it was a superhero game. Can I... Oh, I can play... I do. am no longer required to have Zelrog in the party. <laughs> so it'll be me. I'm taking... I'm taking control of the... Of I wonder if that game. means I can't control them anymore, though. Maybe... Maybe it is Jack! 
People come passing through this place every day, you know? Oh, I know. Good or bad, I ain't one to judge. They turn up with no real goal in mind. Or you know what, they're back on the road again. You should stop by regularly. That reminds me. You know the medals you've received? You must have some, right? Want me to have a gander at them? I mean, okay. So, I guess this is our achievements, and we're less okay. than halfway there. We're, uh, I would say, oh, I, no, I, would, I was gonna say a third, but that's not true either. Over a third. It's just the collection stuff. 39%. Got a fair bit of work ahead of you, eh? You just need more experience. Keep grinding. Hello, dong. Wait, what? The Jack Black? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Singing cleric, Jack Black! Weather sure is beautiful today! Oh, Where that's it. <laughs> He's just all his Junko. Junko. Junko Pop? I'm, I'm Dr. Phil. Or Dr. or her mage. Yeah, that's a Danganronpa character, is, uh, is Junko. I ah. figured as much. Let's see, Marie. I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to Haruhi, because I think she has the... All we eat every single day is dumb salad. I've had it! Is it too much to ask to have something sweet? Oh, I thought she was gonna ask for meat for a second. Tucked away in a hidden spot in Karkaton. Okay. Maybe this isn't the, the thing I was. I thought it was. How you get done? Uh, the unlockable roles are vampire and I think fairy. It's elf or fairy is the final one. Elf and fairy. Oh, hey, volcano land again. Haruhi is a recurring quest, always looking for food. I wonder if there's a requirement before you have access to the extra roll quests, if they're random, or maybe you have to get a certain number of medals first, or something. Hmm. So I wonder what the new classes are gonna be. Well, I just, I just told you both of them. Oh, sorry, I missed it. I was, uh, distracted by the commentary. Whoa! What are they? Can you explain them again? Uh, vampire and either oh, nice. elf or fairy is the, is the last one. Oh, if we get a vampire, it has to be... Vinny made his Tommy. Maybe well, he's vampire. Maybe he's a vampire. Why are the lizard people back-facing again? I don't know. You get the elf from the end of one of the post-game areas. Okay, uh, how do we access the post-game areas? Can we just walk there? Or do we have to do, like, certain missions? I know the vampire one is a mission. Those things are huge! I can't fit one in my mouth! I just swallow them whole. What? How? I, that's how good it is. You just click on it. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we'll go check that out after we get... Haruhi's food. Haruhi's devil food cake. Tired of eating salad. I'm always eating salad. Oh, here, check this out. Lena hates any help. She will only no. accept the help of the sprinkles. Yeah, don't bother trying to feed her. I won't, we don't need to feed in the battle. What do you think I am? We. What an annoying yeah. trait stubborn is. Yeah, don't ever do it. We all need party members that are uh, that have only good traits. I think cool is the, is the best one, like statistically. This is a party of cool people. We are all just two cool dudes. So uh, here's a here's a question I have for you. What uh, what series? What would be a, a, a what would make for the most interesting? Okay, how do I frame this question? So imagine you're trying to do a series where it's a villain trying to be 
like a, like a good guy, but he's still mostly the same character. What char- what villainous character would have the most interesting uh, time with it? Like he's making an effort to be a better person. He's, he's... he's just doing he's just he's just doing like good guy shit. Like why though? Like he's um. It depends on the character, I guess. Well, that, that would kind of change the series dramatically, whether he was, like, roped into it or if he was trying to intentionally. Okay, imagine, imagine a higher power plants an enchantment on him that, uh, that, uh, allow, that prevents him from, from doing any, uh, quote-unquote evil acts. Okay. So. What, who, who? I, I guess I'm picturing, like, uh, a put-upon Zelos. <laughs> oh, is this... Oh, we're, we're in, uh... We're in new territory. So we have like a bunch. You can have a so there's a league of villains in in Smash now. We got a, a number of them, yeah. We have uh, we have Bowser, Ganondorf, DDD, K. Rule, Ridley, and Sephiroth now. <laughs> we have the Council of Villains. We have. I'm just picturing like all of them in like ben- like a Venture Brothers style like council. It's nice to have another more serious villain in after you know a lot of Nintendo villains are like Bowser and DVD, they're kind of goofballs. Yeah, but now we have Sephiroth and uh, Ridley who are decidedly not so silly. Despite the fact that I make Ridley seem silly. Ridley's kinda silly in Smash. <laughs> Yeah, hi, I'm, I'm Ridley, ah! Wickersham's chat was talking earlier today about uh, how Sephiroth and the Shinra organization could fit into the Metal Gear Solid universe. They, it is, I mean, it's basically the cyberpunk organization. So you, can see that. you know, some dude with supernatural powers, but in genetically, he was genetically engineered with supernatural powers yes, from uh, some Sephir- ultra I think being. If I remember Sephiroth's. Uh, Backstory is that he was like the son of uh, someone that he modified with uh, with space alien genes, Genova cells, I think they were called. Yeah. And uh, as a result, he's powerful, but he's also kind of like crazy, at least somewhat unstable. He, he technically doesn't count since Return to Dreamland. Everyone reforms in Kirby, though, so you you gotta count for something. With that. Also, DDD wasn't really a villain in like in like his first appearance. He was actively trying to prevent Kirby from making a huge mistake. We were talking about Kirby's adventure. His first appearance was Dreamland, where uh, he was the main bad guy. He was just hoarding all the food in Dreamland. Yeah, Dream Dreamland villains. They're e- they're either a like silly or b completely fucking terrifying. And DDD is not completely fucking terrifying. Because uh. I've seen terrifying Kirby villains, and they are totally bad guys that Kirby needs to fucking... But DDD is like, the recurring antagonist, so to speak. Because he's, he's hungry. He eats all the food that Kirby wants. What? What is that? It looks like, uh, it looks like Dr. Venture. He's got, he's got that shifty look in his eyes. Three Doctor Ventures. Deadly Demon. That doesn't sound good. I don't think I like that. I don't like the sound of that. Wait, why are they shivering? Oh wow, Haruhi can hit like a Mack truck. 
Are you scared? Promestine is clingy. Oh, Lena geez, has no. nerves of steel. How is Lena more hardcore than Kid Rocky? <laughs> Kid Rocky's like... <laughs> he's, not, he's not nervous, he's just shivering in anticipation, but he... Have you played Final Fantasy VII? Uh, I've been meaning to. I haven't yet. Oh, you want you want to stream that? No, original? no. No, I, I tried it. I couldn't get into it. Well, I I, I can understand why you wouldn't be able to because it's got a a TV combat system. And it's also isometric, which is a turn off for me. There's just there's a lot of things that didn't interest me about it. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe the remake will, will be more up your alley. It looked that way, but that said, I'm not gonna pay $180 for three parts of it, or however it ends up going. I'll wait till it's finished and I'll see how things go. Also, it seems like they're going, like, a different direction with the story of the remake. Yeah, yeah, they are. They're doing something like that. Le Lena's got them well trained. Lena. We're just, after we beat the main dark lord, we're just cleaning up by fighting all these demons. You know, I'm waiting for the opportunity to tell the to tell somebody else the, the story about, uh, about Seiko no Koizu. Yeah? And just how batshit insane it is? Yeah, or mainly just the- oh, hey, Omni Dragon. Oh, he only became crazy because he learned of his origins and he was nice before that? Oh, that's- that's- see, that's tragic. Just engineering it so that the revelation would push you over the edge. Wait, why is... Oh, has Promestine been in the safe spot this entire time? Seems like it. No wonder they're not gone yet. I wanna go home. Promestine, do something. Started dancing. Oh, okay. Great. Dancing in a trance. Safety mask. Promestein, why are you so clingy? No, please! <laughs> oh, because they're they're afraid. It's a fear thing. Snap out of it! They're preventing other people from, from making moves because of how it... That's why she was... No, not much happened, Mango. We're, we're at the end of the, the Haruhi route. Thank you. Still? By the way, I should mention that, uh, apparently, I guess I didn't realize this, but there's a shirtless Sephiroth costume. Yes, two of them. Two? Two, two of the wait. eight are shirtless. Wait, what's the difference between one shirtless and the other shirtless? I, th I think maybe the pants are different, and, like, the sword okay. hilt is a different color. Oh, uh, okay. So it's the uh, shirtless Sephiroth and, uh, and, naked, and nearly naked Shulk. Yeah. Get the Sime in the UK. <laughs> the pants and hilt are different. Alright, yeah. 
So is one black and what's the other one? Is, is he wearing purple pants? They're kind of like Ganondorf skins in that there's, oh. they're all dark, so they're not very wildly different. Well, okay. It would have been cool if he and Cloud had their Kingdom Hearts outfits. I think those were my favorites for the both of them. It's odd that there's so much Advent Children stuff, though, given that that's a movie, not a game. I'm happy about it, it's just kind of weird. Alright, new quest. Hmm? I want to go to Jack's room. It's okay, let's hang out, sure. Just or or work it working out? Right. We beat the Darkest Lord! Oh, I guess I guess Dark. we've run out of perks. Somehow I hate Devil's Food Cake. I haven't had Devil's Food Cake in a while. Maybe I should get some. I can eat I can eat stuff now. I just I, I just gotta be careful with that area until it fully heals. Have some devil protein. Get swole. Oh yeah, Guy Fieri. Yes, <laughs> that's great. I love that outfit. Yes. Oh god. I. Oh man, we should have done Guy Fieri as like a chef. Oh well. There's uh, one of the main, like, players and YouTubers for Me Brawler uses a Guy Fieri me. Nice. So he just has a bunch of, like, videos on YouTube with him. That's cool. Is he, is he in the Brawler Discord? Or... Yeah. Nice. He's got a, a weird long name, but I think it's, uh, like, Waidu is the abbrevi abbreviation. Oh, New Lumos and Galados Isle. We gotta find. I guess we should go at least look here. Oh, it's Blade Runner verse. Yes. Hey, it's uh, it's Ganon. It's... Hey, you! You turn back right now. This place is dangerous. So here's New Lumos, the city of nightmares. You best leave before it's too late. Worst of the worst monsters have made this place their domain. The most fiendish of all the Darker Lord's creations. Even he couldn't control them, so he abandoned them here. Cool, let's fight him. And yet this is the most developed part of the Metopia world. Because <laughs> they couldn't control them, they just built their own society and we're gonna come here and fuck it up. But what are you doing here, Ganondorf? Oh, nothing, nothing! I'm certainly not trying to make the monsters my own, take over the world, no! <laughs> I found work here! Just make sure helpless travelers don't wander in blindly. Oh, he's, he's, he's the gate guardian. Come guardian! So I guess this is the, this is the, like, high-level post-game area. It's a big city. Big, wicked big city. Oh man, this is, you know what this also reminds me of? It's the fucking, uh, the, the world that never was. What's over here? Th this seems nice. It's a nice little island adventure with a person we've never met. Alright, Oh, Wait, have we never met him? I... Whoa! Whoa! I had no idea there were indigenous people on Galados Isle. Ga gal And I discovered them. I'll be the talk of the academy. I'll be the talk. Um, actually, we're just visitors. You're just a traveler? Oh, I thought I just discovered one of humanity's lost tribes. Yeah, the Fieri tribe. Pancake the Scholar. Hi, my name is Pancake. <laughs> I feel like this might be an Adventure Time thing. That looks like an Adventure Time face. Hold on. Uh, 
I had to start investigating this place right away. These blasted monsters are stalling my progress. These are no run-of-the-mill monsters. They're very powerful. Almost as powerful as they are annoying. If you're planning on exploring, you'll have a hard time of it. So please, be careful. So let's about the other high-level area. Metopia Elf Class. So it's not an Adventure Time character. Oh, it's not? Yeah. Player can find this at the end of the Galados Isle to unlock the Elf Class. So I wonder if the Vampire Class is at the end of the other place. Or if that one's random. The Vampire Class has different elemental attacks and can steal HP. Okay, that one is a random quest that pops up in the Traveler's Hub. Oh. Oh, and the elf, the elf class is uh, archers. It's a jack of all trades, capable of doing just about anything that any of the other jobs can do. Can attack oh, nice. one or multiple enemies, splash damage, put up barriers, counterattacks, heal HP and MP. But they have low speed and low H, uh, low max HP. Ah, interesting. So, what does Vampire class do, then? Uh, it said elemental attacks and can recover HP. Oh, okay. Elemental attack. That tracks. Dracula is able to summon fireballs. So, where's the... Where's the... Villa? Or how do we access that, I wonder? Uh... Menu, maybe? Yeah, probably. Or maybe you have to be at an inn. It is so hard being so popular. I'm practically working around the clock now. Wish I could just run away somewhere. Galados Isle could be a good spot. Could you take me there? Oh, okay, I guess. Okay, Don't we yeah, already have that? change my party. I guess I'll go with our main force. Since this is a post-game area, it's going to be difficult. Yeah, we need we need our uh, our best. story vibes. Yes. A nice peaceful island. Look, the horizon is shimmering. The reflection of the sun is beautiful. So cool, yay! We're gonna have to be attacked by we gonna have to help a turtle find his way home. <laughs> Adventure awaits! Huzzah! Oh, those don't look so tough. Puffer poles. We can take them. They just look like a bunch of loose magic cards. Hey, so yeah, we killed one already. Maybe we did him a mercy by giving him Walter's face. It could have been worse. We could have given him magic crap. Yeah. Walter... Well... <laughs> What do you think has been some of the more useful classes in the game? Um, Warrior is a classic. Uh, Chef, Chef has been surprisingly useful. Mage has been pretty useful, and Scientist has been pretty useful. Chef is a great, um, uh, like, cover multiple bases class. Warrior's yeah. got good steady damage. Mage deals lots of damage. 
Okay, we gotta go to an inn and then pick sort party to access the villa. Okay. I think Chef is my favorite. <laughs> There's one buddy. Chef is, uh, is... You know I chose Chef, right? Yeah. You do. Because you All like right. cooking? Well, yeah, that and, uh, and my dad. He makes like some wonderful stuff. Got some game tickets. Like the first, uh... He's like, he's like really good at curry. <laughs> yeah. Indian curry, not Japanese curry. Uh-oh. Who's sick? Lena. Oh, Lena. This is what you get for not taking healing. I don't like white magic. It's gross. Feels bad. It me... <laughs> feels bad. Jack bought a present. What'd you get me? Oh, okay. Cool. Last wish. Help heal a friend when you've fallen and they take a critical hit. Oh, wow. No! You're always pissed, Lena. Leave her in a room by herself. Since she doesn't like help. Who wants the baby food? Here. It's super baby food. Baby food. You know, you know who eats baby food? Robocop. Yeah. Just... Yeah. If you watch Japanese commercials, he loves fried chicken. Robocop? Yeah. Look up uh, Robocop, uh, like, chicken commercial. Alright, hold on. He hates it. Who hates it? What? Oh, I think he's talking about Jack and the baby food. But they um, were different kinds of baby food. One of them was high quality. Wait, um, we're at an inn now. There we go, sort party. So I see two videos. One it says Robocop fried chicken 1990s commercial Korea, and the other one is 1980s Robocop fried chicken commercial. Yeah. And they look like, and they look like the same video. Hold on. I'm not. I'm not gonna make any. New oh, it is Korean. History. It's not Japanese. It's Korean. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna bring our guys back from the villa. Again, we were just playing through the end of the story, so we're not gonna play do any more streams of this afterwards. We're just taking some time to look at the post game. Yeah. Have you heard Joel's uh, RoboCop song? Joel's RoboCop song? Yeah. Did he do a whole album of RoboCop songs? I don't think it was a whole album, but uh, he played a... There was like an NES RoboCop game with a catchy theme song that did nothing oh. to do with the movies. And uh, he combined it with some words from the back of a shitty bootleg RoboCop action figure. <laughs> oh, is it, and he uh, made it, into it a uh, Robert Cop? Yeah. Nice. I, I'm familiar with Rob, Robert Cop. Here, I will, uh... Let's have Jack lead the party of these three. up there. Shit. Uh what? I was going to I was going to say something but I, I I my mind got like sidetracked. 
Maybe we should go right first, in case we can get the elf class. So, oh yeah, um... So, uh... Damn it, I lost it again. Oh, no. So, uh, Joel, did you know Joel did an, an entire album once? The Ghostbusters thing? Yeah, the Ghostbusters album. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've heard that. Have you seen he, the animations? He, was... he what? Have you seen the animations? I saw one of them, but did you did you listen to the entire thing? I, I did, yes. I did. Too. I like the one where it just starts off with the with the Ghostbusters and MIDI, and then it goes, and then the the, the vocals for fucking one start playing. Darkness and pussy. <laughs> did you know the do you know the backstory behind it? Behind that particular, like him doing that? Yeah. No. His internet was out. Oh. And, uh, while he was waiting for it to get fixed, he just did an entire album with this the one MIDI. Wasn't it like this? Was it one MIDI or was it the soundtrack to the, like, a Ghostbusters game? I don't, I could have been both, honestly. You know how MIDIs are. But, yeah. Oh, no! Yeah, a, she's a I, tank! I guess it doesn't yeah. matter, because she's not one of our, uh, our party members, so yeah, she can't ruin good. friendships that don't exist. It is me, Ghost Johnson. Go up for the new class if I remember correctly. Oh, okay. Well, we're already going this way. Fuck it. So it's the same route as where the tank Marie is taking us. The, I think the animator's name is Zerl. He does a lot of really good Joel animations. Oh yeah, no, I saw that one. He did the. He also did the one with uh, the wasp. with him fighting the bee. Yeah, the wasp. Sorry, it wasn't a bee. It was a wasp. I'm trapped in the bathroom. <laughs> I think I, I think one of my favorite Joel moments is when he was playing this uh, this DOS uh, vamp this Dracula game. He's like, man, Dracula can't do anything, and then finally. He gets a dude, he drains him, and he turns his skeleton, and Joel's like, Oh! Oh! Skeletonized! Yeah. <laughs> it's just... He's like, that's awesome! Generates areas for quests. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. I guess it would have to to have new quests every day. My stitches are dissolving. They're falling out of my out of my uh, face. I, I assume they're designed to do that. Oh yeah. No, yeah, he says. Oh, these are dissolving dissolving stitches. You don't need to have them removed. I'm um, like. Well, okay then. Don't need to look at the catalog, thanks. Need some grub. Ooh, more baby food. Baby uh, food. Lena. She loves it. Ah, it's good. Just increases health. That's it. Chewy tail meat. I'll probably keep playing this a little while off stream. There's just something yeah. to do. I, uh, I'm doing the Hat in Time DLC has, like, uh, super hard missions as optional after story things. And they're balls hard! Oh really? How 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 balls hard are we talking about? Uh, I debate between playing them and Spelunky Two sometimes. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I'm looking forward to that. I, I want to keep Jack in the lead of this party. Uh, 
Well, this looks like it would be, uh, like the regular area. Because the top part is, is the part that was generated as part of the Marie quest. Where are we going? This isn't the way. Shut up, Marie! We need access to elves. We, we, we're basically, we're actually making this easier for ourselves by dragging along an unwilling fifth party member. Yes. Despite the fact that they're a tank. It's Still okay, though, because it doesn't... It doesn't have the downside of being a tank. Of ruining, uh... Relationships. Because we know that they're gonna be gone soon. Everyone already hates her! Eau de Cologne. Release a bewitching perfume that might make enemies absent-minded. Ooh, if it works. If you could bring back one series for another season, what do you think it would be? Uh... I'm kind of between Big O that probably needs it more and Slayers, which I would just like more of. Uh... It, it was. It, would it only be one more season? Only one more would be guaranteed. If it suddenly boomed, if it exploded in popularity, people remember it again. Maybe it could get more. I would. I. I couldn't see Big O just having another season ending as strange as the second one. Yeah. So I would. I would probably go with Slayers because I know that that a season of Slayers would be would be a fun time. And there's more Big like o books available that I that weren't adapted. Yeah. Another season of Big O. I would. They would be have wrecked. to retcon. Remember how, the how of... we tried to watch stuff after the final season of Big O, and I was just, I was just not into it. <laughs> you kept remember. It haunted you that the way they. It was a Gynax ending. They just pulled it out of their ass because yeah, they got canceled and they didn't have time. Par Paradise City, a city of amnesia, and I'm like, oh. I, I, I distinctly remember just yelling out, "Fuck you, Big O!" It was just such an awful ending to an otherwise fantastic series. Yeah. Just did it no justice. And in order to fix that, they would have to, like, retcon the ending of Season 2, though. Yeah. You know what, that's fine. We don't need to, uh... Just leave it buried. Leave it in the ground. I know you think you can put it out in the old anime cemetery. I know it sounds like a great idea, but I'm warning you, you don't want to do it. You gotta leave Big O dead. <laughs> Sometimes dead is better. <laughs> you, just, you just bring back Big O and it's all fucking creepy and shit. Just bury Big O. Oh man, I, I just remembered uh, Sivvy made that joke when it came to Duke Nukem Forever. Yeah. Where he's like, Don't hey, bring do Duke Nukem wanna... back. Yeah. So it seems like sometimes dead is better. You know what the thing is, is that is that Duke Nukem Forever was just a, was just like an offensively mediocre game. It wasn't like it was like a uh, janky like like your uh, cyberpunks or your Fallout yeah. uh, 76s. It was just it was just offensively meh. So were you? Which I would which I would say is worse. What's up? Were you part of the group that was like really interested in looking forward into cyberpunk? I was say I, I wasn't I, I didn't really play any of uh, CD Projekt Red's games, so I didn't really have a dog in the fight. I would have liked it to succeed. I like it when stuff succeeds. Uh, and you know what? I will say that that apparently people are enjoying it. It's just like the game was janky. Yeah. I guess it's better than the it's better than the No Man's Sky situation where they just, where it just failed to fulfill was, a lot of their promises. They, but you know what? No, no Man's Sky eventually fulfilled their promises. They it added did, yeah. all the stuff they wanted. 
It, it got better. It was just a famously a disappointment upon release. Yeah. The mighty number nine of the... Uh, that's another thing that kind of failed me with the expectations is mighty number nine. But then they did another game that also featured that character that was better. Was it mighty uh, something or other? What? I don't think so. Let me look this up. I remember, I, I think the problem with Mighty Number no. 9 was that it was also just offensively mediocre. I wonder if the... It's kind of the same situation with the, with the ukulele. Wait, hold on. Yeah, he co-stars in Mighty Gunvolt. That's what I'm thinking of. Supposedly that was a pretty good game. Baby food. It's always baby food. All these tadpoles drop baby food. I got a hero uniform. I can sell this. So it's critically panned, and uh, and many backers call it like bad. But then there are some people who are like, ah, actually, this game's pretty uh, pretty interesting. Which one? Uh, number nine. Ah. And I think the problem was that it was it, it, it was just hyped up. Yeah. As a as a thing, you don't want to overhype anything. You don't want to go like, hey, yeah, this is gonna be the greatest fucking game of all time. Ah, suck my dick. It's just. You don't want that to happen, because then if it if it's if it's going to be put under massive scrutiny, just fucking just fucking announce a game, show some things, and just say, yeah, this is kind of what we're going for, and then release the fucking game. Ukulele was 2017. That was just a whole era of doomed, like. Well, there was. That's the thing is that people remember the failures, but that was also the era that gave us, uh, like, it gave us Bloodstain, which which turned out to be fantastic. Curse of the Moon was also sprung up of, of there from there. Uh, yeah. Then there was also uh, there was also that uh, that CRPG uh, Pillars of Eternity. I was thinking specifically of the of the. It was just an, like an era of bunch of knockoffs that come from a good place like people remember the games fondly and they're not getting them now so they're they're making they're it's, fan it's equivalents successors. i wouldn't call yeah. them knockoff a knockoff is when they're is when they're just trying to be a cash in and like just a cheap copy they were trying to make a successor yeah as opposed to just a clone steamed steamed snails i mean People, I think people, I, I think people who want to take use Kickstarter like seriously, uh, they 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 now know what to do and what not to do, and and what not to do is to just make a bunch of stretch goals that just take the features and like push them over the edge. Yeah. Because then then you're just adding a lot of work to yourself. What you want to do is just have like a baseline game done, like a like a like an engine and stuff. And then say, hey, if, if you give us some cash, we can we can probably get this finished, get some artwork and stuff going for it. Yeah, that's ambition poisoning. Yeah. Oh, uh, you, uh I have a list of uh, stuff that got successfully kickstarted. Yeah. And uh, and and released like to to good a twenty XX uh, which I played that's uh, pretty fun that was a Kickstarter thing uh, the Banner Saga that 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 got uh, kickstarted and that was considered to be pretty good was Celeste a Kickstarter no I don't think that was a Kickstarter.
Uh, let's see what else was a Kickstarter. Darkest Dungeon was a Kickstarter. Yeah. Uh, Death Road to Canada was a Kickstarter. Yeah. Does that have online co-op? I guess it's... I, think. I think it does. Oh yeah, it is, it is a co-op game. Uh, what else? Uh, Freedom Planet. Yeah. FTL. That's that's what you think. That's that was another kind of one of those uh, one of those successor games before Sonic Media Freedom Freedom Planet came along, trying to emulate yeah. the Sonic style. Uh, Grim Dawn, that, uh, that Lovecraftian, uh, Diablo clone. Uh, Hat in Time was obviously one, at, at one. Yeah. Hollow Knight. Uh, Cuny Pop. There was a Silk Song news recently, I think, wasn't there? What? For oh, Hollow Knight, Silk Song. Yeah. Uh, oh, there's news recently. I didn't. I didn't notice it. If there is, that's cool. I'd like. I like for it to be released this year. Hyper Light Drifter, Hypnospace Outlaw. Uh. Oh, Jotun. Yeah, I, I remember that one. Kingdom Come Deliverance. Uh. La Mulana 2. Avenge 2. Revenge the sequel. <laughs> Mordha, that, uh, that, uh, that multiplayer, uh, knight, uh, medieval fighting game. Uh, yeah, these are all, these are all games that, uh, that were released and had and had critical success, some level of uh, of popularity. Pillars of Eternity, yeah, I mentioned that one before. Renounce your evil ways and become a hero. <laughs> Fine, I will. Oh man, I'd like that. Like where Zelos gets an enchantment and he instead of being a, a, like a Mazaku demon, he becomes like some kind of angelic figure. Yeah. But he's still the same person. He's like, I'm still a trickster. Trickster angel. Yeah. The most filliest thing was the holy magic, though. Yeah. That was... Oh, Jacob. Are you Jacob from the Me Chords? I, I know a Jacob from the Me Chords. Oh, Risk of, Risk of Rain was a was a Kickstarter thing. Oh, yeah? What about the sequel? I don't think so. Like, it, Risk of Rain did crazy enough that I, that I think they'd be able to not need to... Uh... To kickstart it, but I could be wrong. This is uh, uh, Zelrog, by the way. I'm I'm Jack. Shovel Knight was a Kickstarter thing. It's a Kickstarter project. Uh, Shantae, Half Genie Hero. That was the that was the remake of the first one, wasn't it? Yeah, or the HG, the first HG installment. Yeah. Yeah. Where's my sketchbook? I must capture this moment. Oh, it's just you again. You haven't even met me. Super Hot was a Kickstarter Super uh, project. Oh. What about, uh, was Cluster Truck by the same guys as, as Super Hot? Don't know. Uh, that was an interesting maybe. game I never got around to playing. I don't think... Have you, did you see the, uh, the Vinny stream of Cluster Truck where the devs, like, hacked him? No, I didn't. There were features in the game that allowed them to, like, in real time, mess with his game and put text on the screen and stuff. <laughs> I gotta watch that stream. Oh! Uh, Town of Salem was a Kickstarter project. Huh. Oh, and, um, you know what? You know, you know what uh, makes it so that, like, people... You know why I... When people say, oh, Kickstarter projects are, are, like, the bottom of the barrel. You know why I say, no, fuck you? It's all depends on the person running it. Yeah. Undertale. Undertale was a Kickstarter project. Yeah. And it has, like, become one of the most popular indie games of all. Bulgar the Jack. Viking Kickstarter project. Jack, uh, there's a new what? one. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm looking at this stuff. <laughs> I'm not looking at the game. Nope. 
Yeah. Uh, we finished the main story, so this will be our last stream of Metopia. I would like to see if we can get the elf class before the end of the stream. So yeah, that's all. That's a lot of. Uh, those are a lot of stuff I personally played or heard of that did, that did uh, really good. What did Minecraft start out as? Was it a like a flash game? It was a Java-based thing, like project that uh, people building stuff that uh, Notch did, and he kept on working on it and working on it, so that it became less of just like a pure creative thing and more of a of an actual like adventure style game. And uh, the end of this area is legit really difficult. Oh, okay. Well, I, I guess we won't get the elf class then. Is it like? grind party members to level 90 before you tempt it difficult. I think the, I think the max level is like 99. And we're, we're at, you know, 20. Well, we never, we didn't do New Lumos, so no, that doesn't mean anything to us. <laughs> By the way, I, I just want to mention, did you, uh, did you ever see any, uh... Yeah? Did you ever uh, see any pictures of, uh, of a person known as uh, Alstafo? I am loosely familiar, yes. The, that pink-haired... Uh, yeah. Yeah. What uh, What gender do you think they are? It's very famously a male who looks yes. feminine. <laughs> yeah, people look at, at him and be like, okay, I guess I'm bi now. He's popular in the Ganondorf Discord. Why there of all places? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I'm just picturing like, uh, like Ganon being like, oh, "You're cute. I want to keep you to myself," and, and him just just going like, "Okay, sure." It's all an elaborate ploy to get to make Link jealous. <laughs> you jealous of my boy toy, Link? I have a new one. <laughs> You know that, that that's based off of an actual historical character or legend, right? Well, that's so every that's, fate character, that's, yeah. Yeah, so that's like one of Charlemagne's paladins. <laughs> and apparently the most beautiful one. Uh, you know that, uh... Yeah. Did it just fart? What part? No, you know what? Never mind. I think I, I don't. Those are that's like the two, like the pair of, of meme waifu husbando characters are like Padoru and uh, Ast Astolfo. Mm. You sound offended. Uh, no, I, I'm not. I... Well, who's the other? Who's the, I'm trying to remember who the first one is. Padoru. 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 P a d o r u. It's just saber in a Santa hat. I, I don't think he's being literal. I think I think he's shitting on. Okay, who? I don't actually know who the character is. Who is Padoru? This, I looked it up, and apparently it's just a bunch of anime char like chibi characters in a Santa hat. Okay. A yeah, series of uh, image macros. It's on Know Your Meme. 
part of a series on fate. Okay, so it is a, a meme that originates Nero from Claudius fate. sings a Japanese parody of the Christmas Carol Jingle Bells during a sort sequence of the game, ending with Claudius loudly yelling the lyrics, Fedoru, Fedoru, oh, that's right. Uh, Nero, Nero Claudius, uh... Is a, is is a not only a female but also looks like uh, save uh, like uh, Arthur from uh, <laughs> from the first from Fate's Day Night. I guess that would explain why they're in the same uh, same circles. Is they're both fate car fate memes? They look exactly. They look very. They look almost the same. It's weird. Like fate. Like uh, one is blue, wears blue, and one wears red. But also uh, like uh, Atora, the the fake. Uh, the uh, saber from uh, Fate Stay Night is like serious and calm, and the Nero is just like a big party person. He's like very, very happy, very like, yes, I am a bad artist. Woohoo! I was talking like the Padoru meme in the Astolfo fandom. Oh. Yeah, it's just... Oh, uh, did you ever uh, take a look at? Do you know who uh, Blue the Bone is? That artist. No. Oh, you love him. Uh, so, so it's a it's a uh, anime artist. Uh, traditionally, post their work on Newgrounds, but uh, but they're but they take uh, stuff from newer anime and and, uh, and new games and stuff and remake it to look like uh, 80s anime. Yeah. 80s or 90s style. It looks it looks really awesome. I, I would have been mad if Nathan just killed Judy. Came real close there. Why? Wurgle. Commence the jiggling! We're... Go. That's right, use the flambe. If you hit it with a flaming object, it'll turn into a- it'll turn into cooked turkey. Apparently that's the thing you can do in modern Minecraft, is that you can just set animals on fire and they, they automatically drop their conversions of their drops. Yeah. Snurp radish. I haven't seen any snurps this stream. Oh no, who is sick now? Oh no, I guess 50 is the max level. Oh yeah, here's a here's an example of uh, one of their images. You might not want to show that on stream. It's not like like explicit, but Oh, uh, Croshi's down. So you might want to get, uh... Let's just take it easy. What is this? We need a magic rock. We need a MacGuffin. What goes in the hole? Just put your head in. Oh man. I 
guess we should do Marie's thing. Damn it. You can't just cheese it with a with an ally tank. Oh, we could. I'm sure we'd go find the thing, but it could be anywhere. Yeah, let's go back and look for the thing. Retreat! Wait, wait, no! We were finally going the right way! Shut up, Marie! I feel safe with Marie around, said no one. into their shell. Oh. No, I fed him too much spicy food for the last time. Oh, that was easy. Nathan healed your relationship. Oh, that's with cool. his brutal song of yeah. love. Brutal song of love. I, I, I imagine a Death Clock love song would be about, like, all the brutal things that he would do to himself for her. That's about how that would go. Yeah. And, and it's black, black romance song. Black metal romance song. Sings atrociously to hurt the enemy greatly, and friends quite a bit, too. Oh, wow. That's... that's risky. Is there something on me? Yeah, I, is there? There was a threat on your shoulders. Steel armor. Okay. Okay. Didn't know he needed it. Black Knight Kenpachi. Just to have some fights. There's like a nice little island. A lime cap. Is this just. This is the orange cavern, just recolored green, I just realized. All caverns are insane. Interesting idea, like a, a, a roguelike idle RPG game. It's just odd that it takes you through the entire story of the game to get to that point. 
Well, you know, there's a story people need to do, so. Pop, pop. I wonder if that's a Japanese thing. <laughs> the orange cavern is just the blue cavern from Greenhorn Recolor. There was a blue cavern? I forgot I that. Blue cavern, orange cavern, green cavern. Is there a purple cavern? What does the blue taste like? It tastes like blue. Good old blue. These things are kind of wimps. I wonder how the Monster Girl Quest creators would feel knowing that people are playing their characters in Metopia. What's Metopia? I don't know what Metopia is. I only play foreign games. There are many types of games popular in Japan. I know. Talk about them specifically. Uh, just because they're hentai artists doesn't mean they don't play video games. Yeah, that's true. M. What's the M for? Kuroshi man. Kuroshi man, go. You, you sound like you're falling asleep. <laughs> uh, I'm just, uh, I'm just idling like this game is. Crazy hamburger. A burger so big it's an, oh I can go for a ham. What? No, I love hamburgers. Stupid I guess game. it wasn't a very good one. That one person wanted uh, wanted sushi in uh, in in Hunter Hunter, and when they got it, they're like, "Oh, I'm sorry, it's not good enough." The sushi sucks. You all fail. The, the guy is coming down. Like, you can't just fail any everybody. This is I stupid. Just fail everybody. I can and I will. Fuck off. All right, I'm gonna do this last area and then we'll call it. Sounds good. Judy. God damn it, Judy. That's no, okay. It's just, it's just it's baby food tadpoles. Getting the way, am I? Good, she's humble. Sit down. Be humble. Sit down. <laughs> oh, is that what it does? It just triggers rage in people? We can do that with Rage Candy, that's not a very good ability. <laughs> I promise time was crazy. Every now and then I need a rest. Hey, can we go to do the thing that you brought me here for? Oh, huh? Wait, what? Oh, it's just a dream. I had a dream, now I'm rested.
already. Two and once? Uh. Oh, you, you don't have any art, too. Uh, you only get one life sprinkle. Wake up! Oh. Oh, well, Kiroshi can revive people. Thank you, Tank lady. Yourselves. We've played long games before, but Pokemon is at least more involved in this game. Yeah. So it's kind of easy it, to uh, run out of juice. With it. We can actively do stuff and talk about certain stuff. Uh, this, not so much. Tamadachi 2 1. <laughs> and I'm sick again. You, just, you and Lena just keep trading it back and forth. Wait, what are you doing with Lena? <laughs> we keep stealing each other's food. That makes sense. I am now picturing you and Lena fighting over food, as do Lena and Gowry. <laughs> you know, I'm surprised. Uh, you know how in Dragon Ball Z Saiyans are supposed to have like these huge appetites? Yeah. We don't ever see Gohan doing that shit. No, not really. Maybe he's just too polite. Maybe from yeah. an early age he was like scared out of that by Chi Chi. Or, or maybe it has to do with the fact that he that he has he goes berserk. Yeah. Or maybe Broly doesn't have like much of an appetite. Maybe that's the the key of the Saiyan with like some kind of uh, Saiyan specific mental disorder, where their combat ability is kind of like it's a disassociate disassociative uh, violent appetite. disorder. We see Vegeta eating a lot, like, very rarely. I think that one of the few times he went to the tournaments, like, between matches, he was wolfing stuff down. We see that in- we, I see that- you see that more in Super. That's true. We see Vegeta more in general in Super. Yeah, him and- him just chilling with his family. That's why- while well, a lot of people don't like Super, I like it because it actually does, like, give more uh, more of a home life to Vegeta. It gives him more dimensions than him just being obsessed with training and beating Goku all the time. I see that more in GT, in that he kind of settled down and was yeah. okay not GT. being... He was okay with him and Goku's relationship. He was yeah, okay he got a with cool growing mustache. a mustache like Yeah! <laughs> you should shave that off, Dad. It looks gross. Oh! But I like it! All right, that was Metopia. We got through the end of the game. I don't know if we'll do quite another long game like this again. Uh, we're almost done with Pokemon. Want to start yeah. Zelda and some other stuff soonish? Yep, and we're uh, we're in the middle of Hat in Time. We'll we'll get through that. I'm glad you enjoyed uh, it, Mango. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. See you next time.